and we'll be still stuck there. Yeah, this isn't as good as the 60% alcohol prep, so if you can get your hands on those, that's much better. Alright, let's see if that's dry. Still a bit wet. Rub, rub, rub. Where is tissue? Be funny if I left a bit of tissue in here. Okay, it seems dry. Oops. Yep, good enough for me. Okay, then we're opening up the little bag that they gave us with the alcohol. Sorry, with the thermal paste. This is probably the smallest bag of thermal paste I've ever gotten with a fan. I'm not saying I'm on a stingy, but probably means you can't make a mistake with this. So I've just torn the top off and I'm gonna need something to spread it. Oh boy. So I'm just squeezing the bag onto it. I'm using the bag to rub it on. That is a tiny amount of thermal paste. I'm gonna have to get this on quite good. Obviously, doing this vertically is not ideal, but I think we are making progress. Oops. If you do do this at home, make sure you do it flat because I don't think I'm doing this very well. So, I'm using the bag just to spread it on evenly. hear that my flatmate's got his music on. I apologize, he's got slightly different taste in music. Maybe some of you will like it. Oh, fan. The trouble I go to put you on. That's good enough, I think. I'm gonna clean my hand off now, I've got thermal paste on me. Actually no, it looked like there was plenty of thermal paste in there, and got a nice cover, and there's still some on my hand and the bag. Oh god, my, my flatmate is singing. Sorry about that folks. Okay, so what the manual says is basically, this is the fan, you need to unfasten the two screws on the side, so the one on this side and the one on this side, so these two. So I'm going to do that right now. It says completely unfastened, so I'm using a screwdriver. Hey, that's not toolless, is it? But, oops. I think we have to leave it at least a little bit in. So you can see now that this leg is free. Later when we attach it we're gonna have to screw this back down so let's do the other side so oops there we go just taking it off okay so now both legs are a little bit free to dangle oh I really should have had done this flat let's put it in
I don't know if you've seen that. My processor has come out of a socket. It's stuck to the bottom of my fan now. How did that happen? I better put it back in. Unlock. Oh, I'm sorry folks, I definitely have to change it to horizontal, otherwise I'll mess this up. So give me a moment. How did, how did my processor come out? I'm sorry. Basically you should not do anything like I do in this video. Although I don't know how that happened. So I'm gonna turn the case. is flat, putting the CPU back in, golden arrow on the AMD chips points in the same direction that it shows on the motherboard, so I'm going to drop this chip in and lock it. Hopefully it stays in this time. Alright, so here's the fan, just aligning the flags, and bring it down onto the it's too loose. I think it is too loose. Oh, things are just coming apart. Okay. Then we align the legs. And where's my screwdriver? Bring that up. We just have this a little bit to hold it in place. And same for the other side. Bring this leg in. Oh, the other side's come up. Feels quite secure. Just a little bit more. I mean, I don't think a fall off is quite light, but I never know. And I seem to be making mistakes today, so. Hopefully that goes well. Alright. So I just put my notebook right away. And we're going to connect the motherboard power. Alright. Fan is in. It's a hell of a lot quieter than the stock AM3 fan already, but I think we'll have to run some stress tests to see how it does on the load. I'll do the cable management a bit later on. And we're in. So, I'm quite pleased. It sits quite flush with the case, which is quite important, especially on this um, MATX cases. And, well, I'll put any other details in the description and See you then.